I just love glaucophane. Amphibol, so moderate relief, has amphibol cleavage, 6120 cleavage. Beautiful pleochroic blue. Here it's a, it's a nice dark royal blue. When you cross the polars in an end section, of course the interference colors are, are going to be pretty low, but here um, the, the blue color of the amphibol actually comes through in the interference colors pretty strongly. Here you can see the nice 6120 cleavage again, but the cores are darker blue than the rims. Usually darker blue means it has a higher iron content and the lighter rims have a higher magnesium content, more towards the glaucophane end member composition. And again, it has low interference colors for the end section. This glaucophane must have a higher magnesium content because it's paler. You can also see it now that it's got this sort of pale blue to lavender um, pleochroism uh, across the polars, and you'll see that there are, th this particular one in the center has low interference colors, but those first order uh, purple, blue, uh, red, magenta interference colors, those are pretty typical too. A nice example of pleochroic uh, glaucophane. The nice blue in, in the surrounding crystals, you can see some purple lavender uh, across the polars, and you'll see that intense first order blues and magenta uh, and orange. And actually, this is a lot of what you see in blue schists is the glaucophane is super fine-grained, so all you see is this kind of blue pleochroic mat. Um, in this case, those big white crystals around the edges are lawsonite, so lawsonite and glaucophane go together. They're the distinctive minerals of the blue schist facies.